Hello everyone and welcome to episode 22 of our Pokemon Pearl and Azok. I'm Adam and today we're continuing on our adventure. In this episode we're going to take on the Snowpoint City Gym Leader, Leader Candice, the Diamond Dust Girl. Let's get into this. Now the objective of this one is just to destroy all the snowballs and uh, get to the Gym Leader. I'm going to take on every chat, every gym trainer that I run into, just to get as much experience as I can. Oh, float tool. Okay, that's not exactly an ice type, but it has ice fang, I bet. So might be a good idea to swap out into spirit. Uh, oh god. Oh. Okay, good thing I have Giga Drain. We'll use that. We're also going to use Thunderbolt, but Giga Drain will help out more. So I can definitely take another crunch. Crit may have mattered, I don't know. But there we are. Back to full health, safely. Sneasel, okay. Mm -hmm. We'll go with Apex, because it's going to go with a dark type move, and uh, Apex can take a dark type move. Icy Wind, okay, that's fine. I can still take that. And Brick Break will finish it off. Well, that was the first trainer, and I've already struggled. <laughs> first trainer already had a bit of a scare, so high hopes I'm having for this. A little bit scared now. Just get the trainers out of the way, then I can take care of the actual uh, challenge. Puzzle. Pelipper. Okay, now I need to swap into Spirit for that one. Actually, maybe Jewel can take this. Yeah, because it can't exactly do much. And, oh, nearly. But Aerial Ace can finish it off, so that's fine. Of course. Right, okay. Because I'm not dealing with confusion, I'm swapping out. Yeah, I'm not dealing with the confusion stuff. I finish it off a pluck. And then whatever the next Pokemon is, Skipper can take out. Yeah, Skipper's got this. Actually, might take a bit of effort, so maybe not. Okay, back into spirit then. Thunderbolt, and then that's done. Uh, 
Okay, moving on to the next Pokemon. Actually going to be an Ice Sight, will it? Steelix, oh, that's not an Ice Sight. But it is a Pokemon which I don't think can do anything to Spirit. But on the case of I don't want to risk anything, I am going to swap into Skipper, right, just to drown it. Just in case it has crunch. Uh, using Screech, <laughs> never mind. Oh, Surf would still drown it. There we are. If we're able to uh, keep going at this rate, we will eventually beat this gym in this episode. Good. Uh, but I mean, like, um, we've made it this far into the Nuzlocke and not had a single death yet. So if we continue on at this rate, this might be the first Nuzlocke I have where I don't lose a Pokemon. Which will be very good to have. No. Anton, Snover. Okay. I love the sound Snover makes. It's finally a Pokemon now that Jewel can take. Yep. And the stat drops don't matter because that's the one Pokemon that he has. Nice. Uh, let's see this one. Whoop, there we are. This way. Here we are. And you have two Pokemon. Sneasel's one. Okay. Well, Jewel may not outspeed, but because of Intimidate, not even your icy wind's gonna KO it, so I'm confident to keep Jewel out to go with close combat. Or I, or I outspeed and one shot it, and then it's not even an issue to deal with at all, so that's fine. <laughs> What's the other Pokemon? Tentacruel. Right, so Jewel's coming out, and I'm thinking Rombel. That way I'm immune to one type, and the other is neutral. Oh, oh gosh. Extra sensory. Okay, raises defense. Well, guess what? I'm using special attacking moves. <laughs> oh, nearly. <laughs> yeah, keep using, keep raising your special, uh, your defense. It's not going to help. Okay, well that's done. It's 
So with the team that I have here at the moment, I probably should have said this before I went into the gym. I've benched Flora because I don't want her anywhere near this fight. I have Heimlich for the part of a quote-unquote gym strategy. And hopefully we will end up victorious. Yeah, hopefully everything will be alright. Quagsire, okay. I've, I love Quagsire. Quagsire is just so derpy, I love him. Ooh, raids in special defense. Okay, that's a bit scary, but I don't think Quagsire can do anything to his spirit. So this should hopefully one shot. No, that's okay though. Does every Pokemon in this gym have water pulse? Seriously. It feels like a water, the water types are a continuation from the ice type. The water types are more superior. Seriously. Right, I did miss a trainer, so let's go and take care of them. Wait, no, oh, wrong way. There we are. Okay, and that's one that uh, Jewel can take, so that's good. Okay, just go show it with close combat and then draw his L forty three. Now, truth be told, I am a bit nervous for this gym leader because in platinum she's a threat and in this one she's also a threat. But I do have a plan for her. I need things to go the way I need them to. Okay, well done, Jewel. And we'll have Apex up in front now. I think that's all the trainers. Mm, yeah, I've already done this one. Yeah, I have. Yeah, so that is all of them. Now we'll just exit the gym, heal up, and then we'll just go through this whole puzzle again in which we will, yeah, in which we will then, <laughs> there we are, in which we will then take on Candace. I believe Candace leads off with a Snova in Diamond and Pearl, because in Platinum she leads off with a Sneasel, but she has a Snova, Sneasel, Medicham, and a Bomber Snow. So I believe it is the Sneasel first. No, the Asnova first. And with that, I'll lead off with Apex first. My counter for the Medicham is uh, Jewel. And maybe... Uh, yeah, definitely Jewel. Maybe uh, Spirit or Brombell, maybe.
And with that, that's the whole path cleared up. This seemed a bit easy, actually. <laughs> but here we are, about to take on Candace. You want to challenge Candace? Sure thing, I was waiting for someone tough. But I should tell you, I'm tough because I know how to focus. Pokemon, fashion, romance, it's all about focus. I'll show you just what I mean, get ready to lose. Okay. I'm not really in the mood to lose, I'm in the mood to win. Snover. Yeah, okay, I got that right. Snow warning. Okay. Just go with Brick Break. And then that should KO the Snover instantly because Apex's attack is sky high. Yep. Get buffed by the hail, that's fine. A bomb of snow straight away. Okay, well that's a bit surprising. We'll just go across shop though. More powerful fighting type move to KO the more powerful ice type. And done. Nice. Well done, Apex. Really proud of you. Next up is going to be the Medicham. So I need to get a safe swap into Jewel. Yeah. Because it's going to use the Psychic type attack. And the safe option will be going into Medicham. Uh, Jewel, just to intimidate it. And then we'll use Fly to finish it off. Force Palm, okay. Don't paralyze. Good. Now, if you want Medicham, you can use High Jump Kick uh, after I fly up into the air so you can damage yourself whilst I'm trying to take you out. Use high jump kick, please. No, I. Oh, that's scary. Okay, no, that's a bit scary. <laughs> oh. Right, force palm, detects, and ice punch. It's going to go with ice punch. So, my counter to that, it's not going to go with a psychic type move, because it has a super effective move and ice punch. I'm going to swap into spirit to um, take it and kill it with shadow ball. No? Okay, that's, that's perfect. Shadow Ball's going to KO it. And then it'll just be the Sneasel left. Yeah, I have to be very careful going around that meta charm there. I'm just really surprised she sent out the Bomber Snow right after the Snova. So I generally thought Medicham would have been the second one out after the Snover. Okay. And then we'll go into Brombell. Avalanche, that's not going to do much. Not very effective. Yeah. But whatever move that Sneasel's going to use, it's not going to do much to Brombell at all. Because of how fast Brombell is, uh, Sneasel is, Jarable would do a lot of damage.
There we go. So I was nervous for Candice's gym, but don't looks like I was nervous for what seems to be no reason. But that's good. Wasn't messing around in that gym. Uh, just glad to have won. Rock climb out of battle, nice. Team 72, that is Avalanche. And that's it. Right, let's heal up the team. And we can bench Heimlich for Flora. And then we can go and investigate Lake Acuity. Here's Flora. And we've got Heimlich back. Also, this is Shimmer, the shiny ponies here, Which I found mid-grinding whilst training up for Fantina's gym. Okay, heading off to Lake Acuity. Which Pokemon stand in the way? A Meditite. Okay, well... Not gonna mess around with that one. Just going to get away from the battle and just head on to Acuity. Really? Lucas, you lost to Jupiter. Bro. No, Jupiter is the scary one out of those two. You okay, mate? Okay. You're useless, I got it. Mate, time to go to Vellstone HQ. Put Skipper up in front for a bit. Let's follow him. Wait, all right. Oh, nice. All right. Oh. We can go to the storage base now. Yeah, I do. Bye. <laughs> Dusk stone. Okay, nice. Trainer. Well, you know what they say when a trainer's eyes meet, they must embark in a battle. One versus six, it seems very unfair. Never mind, he has a goal, but it is 100% very fair.
not very effective, so not much. Yeah. Finish it off with Aqua Jet. And that's done. I want to try and keep everyone around the same level, so I'm going to give Brombell the lead now. I still can't get over how kind, how lucky I was with Basil and Candice, because I thought it was going to be a bit of a challenge, but no, it wasn't. The Medicham gave a bit of trouble, but not a lot. So I don't, I really don't know, don't know what happened there. Uh, it's just one one less obstacle in our path to become the very best in the Sinnoh region. Dust socks, okay. That's fine. I can use extra sensory on this one. We're getting to the point of the game though where confusion is starting to become a bit of a useless move. So if I can get a move which I can teach Brombell that did nothing. If I can get a move that I can teach Brombell to replace confusion with, I'll be much happier. I know it can learn a psychic type move coming up. And I intend to teach it, I just don't remember what level it learns it. But I'm hoping I can have it for Volkner. For when I battle Volkner. Ooh. Okay, this is a nice uh, battle against your past self. So, <laughs> as much... Uh, okay, as much as I love to do that. This will be here for ages if we do that. So I'm just going to go to Skipper. Protect from status conditions. Just going to use Surf. Nearly. Extra sensory, not very effective against steel types. Yeah. Right. And Aqua Jet will finish it off. Damn, the weakest Team Galactic run. Now, I don't remember my way through this uh, building entirely, so <laughs> I might get a bit lost. But just like with my previous Nuzlocks, when, <laughs> when do I not get lost? Trying to lower my attack. I'm a special attacker, boy. Done. Hmm. I think that was the right choice. Yeah, it was. So what we'll do, we will go back, go the other way, and uh, explore that part just to get any loose items. Like, yeah, like that. Not going to use it, but <laughs> just in case there is any important items we miss. Let's go this way. I 
Okay, do I go the right way again? God, I need to stop doing that. I need to stop going the right way. Okay, Wormpool, really? You still have a Wormpool? Okay. Okay, another extra sensory. Ooh, okay, that might make take that won't give the victory to him, but that might make the battle a bit longer. Because now he will survive the extra sensory. Uh, he won't survive the second one. And now Cybeam's going to do, what, 1 HP? Yeah. That crit wasn't necessary. <laughs> Well done, Brombo. There you go. Now you can learn Future Sight. Get rid of Confusion. And Cascoon. Now I keep with the extra sensories because there's no point in using Future Sight on a Pokemon which is going to die before it even gets used. Now, if I was a comedy relief sort of bad guy, I'd tell you, but I really don't know. Bit, bit sad. <laughs> Stunky. Ooh, okay. Uh, I can take that, but not with Brombell. And because I don't want to get poisoned, I'm going to use Skipper. Not very effective, so that's fine. Surf will KO. Oh, hello. Another one. <laughs> Bronzo. Okay. Well, I need to swap out again. Okay, yeah, use Iron Defense, that's fine. So if it's gonna KO? No, maybe not. Oh, uh, so if we'll KO now. And um, what's the next Pokemon? Yeah. 
Stumpy. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Now just keep Skip around. And that's done. Okay, moving on. Okay, so that is the dead end. So I'm kind of glad I went that way. But, uh, turns out that was the right way. Just not for now. Yeah, I'll keep Skipper up in front for now. I believe you have a Kadabra. Don't you? You have a Kadabra? Oh, two Pokemon, okay. But you do have a Kadabra. Knew it. Side beam, okay. Did a fair amount. Not a lot, but a fair amount. Pluck. Okay, another cadaver. Okay, and yep, yeah, block's going to okay out. Right, we're nearing the 40 minute mark now, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to call it, give it a break here. So with that, that's all for this time. If you like what you saw, leave a like, leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe, press the notification bell down, down in the corner below. In the next episode, we'll continue battling Team Galactic, and in the episode after that, we'll probably finish beating Team Galactic. But with that being said, I've been Adam Ferns. Goodbye.